Hello everybody, this is Michael Smiley coming at you with another video. Um, I just want to talk about the CW for a second. I know that I usually do reviews about movies or TV shows, but I think that it's really important to um, point out a r severely underrated television television network. <clears throat> so, the reason why I, why I want to talk about the CW is because, and why it's extremely underrated, is because on most channels, on, on most networks, I should say, they are mainly procedurals. And who wants to watch another procedural? Um, I mean, 911 is excellent on Fox, but, I mean, you have your, your great ones and stuff, but why would you want your whole lineup to be nothing but procedurals? Hmm. The CW has a very diverse lineup and has always stood out to me because it is extremely different from all the other networks on television and it's had some of the best TV series severely severely underrated for a network um, in my opinion it is the best network um, regardless of all the other networks productions and you know budgets and all this other nonsense that has nothing to do with story with acting with um, anything really <clears throat> just that you can say that you have money that you spend on TV shows you PDA um, the CW has had everything from the vampire Diaries probably my favorite show that's lasted oh and another another thing that I want to point out is that they are very fan servicing they they like to make sure that the fans have a conclusion if they are going to cancel a show they make sure that there's some sort of closure for the fans the only time that they really don't do that is if they cancel a show after one season because there's not really much of a story that they've you know that's been kicked off and it's not a mainstay or anything like that and it you know but like the Vampire Diaries, eight excellent seasons, probably the best show on television, lasted eight seasons, um, it was made with such creative storytelling, definitely outside the box, uh, had so many different mythological creatures and everything it was just so and the actors and the acting and the pacing and and they do even great on their special effects for being such a small network <clears throat> another one is obviously the 100 the 100 sticks out to me because Lately, it's been all Game of Thrones this and Game of Thrones that. And yes, it's an excellent an excellent series. I mean, I watch it. Um, but I feel like if you love Game of Thrones, then you should also love The 100. Because The 100, it's ruthless like the Game of Thrones. It's survival. Um, it's survival of the fittest, last man standing. And they don't they don't compromise anything for their storytelling. They they tell their story, and whatever happens happens, regardless of how anybody feels about it. Just like Game of Thrones. <clears throat> um, and that's based on a book series as well as the Vampire Diaries. Um, so the CW has created such amazing shows like the One Hundred. The Vampire Diaries, The Originals, Legacies, <clears throat> and then you have shows like Rain. So this is how diverse the show is, or the network is. 
So, The Vampire Diaries, The Originals, and Legacies. Predominantly, they're vampire shows, but not really because they have so many supernatural creatures in it. Um, so then you have, on the other end of the spectrum, you have Rain, which is a historical period peace drama. Uh, historical fiction show. Way left field from where The Vampire Diaries is. And then you have shows like The 100, Survival. Yeah, it's, I mean, it could be a little sci-fi-ish at times, but mainly it's not. It's mainly um, a post-apocalyptic show survival kind of thing. Um, <clears throat> then you have Roswell, Aliens. Amazing. Love Roswell, New Mexico. I think that they are doing such an incredible job with that show. I think that they have a lot of potential for their future. And um, if the network is smart, like I know that it is, it's going to be renewed. Because there's no reason for it not to be. I mean, amazing. You'd have to check it out. Um, <clears throat> and then you have... So we have The Vampire Diaries, The Originals, Legacies, Rain, um, The 100. Um, and then they have All-American which is a football drama, left field from everything else. Then you have all the superhero shows for everyone, even though they're DC. Um, so when it comes to Marvel and DC, I think that Marvel's done a better job than DC when it came to a majority of their movies. And then when it comes to shows, DC has done a better show than Marvel. My opinion, everybody else's taste is different, I'm sure. But the CW has went above and beyond to really do a fan service when it came to DC shows. The Flash, amazing. The um, Arrow, amazing. Supergirl, amazing. Black Lightning, amazing. Um, I haven't watched um, too much of Legends of Tomorrow, but I've heard a lot of good things about it. So, there you go. Um, and that's different from the rest of the superhero shows, because from what I understand, um, Legends of Tomorrow has a, a lot of time jumping to different periods in time and stuff like that, which, yes, The Flash does go back in time, but not, not to the severity that, um, uh, The Legends of Tomorrow does. Like, The Flash is within its own timeline. It doesn't, <clears throat> uh, like, go back to the 1800s and visit Queen Elizabeth the first, or the 1500s and visit Queen Elizabeth the first, or, you know, anything like that, it's, um, but, anyway, getting off topic, um, then you have Charmed, a show about witches, and then you have Jane the Virgin, I mean, all these, and Crazy Ex-Girlfriend, you have all, such a variety, now there's a new one, um, in the dark, about, a blind girl, and it's kind of hilarious, like, it's a comedy, kind of, from what I've seen from the uh, promotions of it. So, the CW is not just procedure, procedural shows, or just supernatural shows, speaking of supernatural, 15 seasons, 15 seasons, that is fan service, that is telling a gigantic story and taking care of shows. That's like, that is, that is incredible. Um, and it's the longest, uh, running, um, the longest running supernatural show in the genre, I think, ever. Um, 
So there's so many. There's such a variety. There's something on the CW for everyone. Regardless if you like this show or that show or not is, um, in a, you know, your opinion. But there's so many different varieties and different types. You can find something on the CW that you love. I mean, it'd be really, 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 I mean, unless you just watch TV for background noise, you're really not going to find... You're not going to not find at least one show that you love on the CW. <clears throat> Another thing that the CW president and network has done an excellent job with is their deals. So, every show, every current season is added on to Netflix. They have, the CW has a deal with Netflix where... The current season gets added to Netflix eight days after the finale airs of the current season. All the other networks should follow suit. Why wait until a week or two before the, the next season starts so you have to literally stay up all night and lose sleep over trying to catch up before the newest season gets on to, you know, airs? Why? No reason. Every network needs to follow suit and follow the, the CW's um, lead. Because then you have... You can binge watch to your heart's content after it's added onto Netflix eight days after the finale airs. That's ridiculous. So not only do you get to watch it on TV, but if you miss anything... You can rewatch it and rewatch it to your heart's content if you love the season or show or whatever. <clears throat> and I think that was an excellent idea. Um, if nobody knows, the CW app is free where you can watch current episodes like you would with Hulu with every other show. Unfortunately, new episodes uh, from the CW don't air on Hulu because of their deal with Netflix which is fine because they have the CW app and that's free. Um, and you can add that to your Roku's and catch up on current episodes and binge watch the, the seasons when they're added <clears throat> without commercial. So I think that everyone should know about this network. I think that it's amazing. I think it's the best network on television. It's severely underrated and there's really not any excuse why. Why? It's amazing. The president is intelligent with the way that he runs business. I think that <clears throat> it's done an incredible... Even when... So I'll take an example like Rain. Uh, Rain was canceled after four seasons, but it's the series finale. They still gave the writers just enough time to write a series finale that gave closure for the fans. Um, a lot of the times, if they cancel shows, they will at least announce a final season so the writers can have enough time to not have to rush and they can just finish it, it you know, very smoothly. And have every... Every closure for all their characters. Um, then there's shows like Supernatural and The Vampire Diaries that do not get canceled, but they end. Like, their stories end, they can't go anywhere else. And, you know, the writers and actors and everything, want, you know, everybody wants to move on. And they've finished telling their stories. So, you know, the CW does an excellent job with with letting writers and creative directors and everybody finish their shows on their terms fully. And I think that that's important. Most networks, they'll cancel after 
half a season and they won't even air the rest of the season for the viewers to at least see what finds out, you know, finds out what happens with the rest of the... No, they don't even care. Other networks, most other networks don't care. And it's sad and pathetic and there's no reason. If you have, you know, an audience there, you should at least give them the opportunity, since they're already viewing into your network, the chance to see closure. I think that everybody deserves that. They deserve closure of any kind. Um, and it is completely unacceptable that the CW d does not thrive more than it does, because it really should. Everyone should be aware of this network. Um, <clears throat> and I'm very excited to see um, the future that the CW has in store for itself because I hear that there's a Batwoman series being worked on and I cannot wait for that. Ruby Rose is going to be Batwoman and Rachel Scarston is going to be the villain. I'm really excited about that. Um, and I think right now I'm most excited, other than Roswell being renewed, Roswell, New Mexico, because I really, really, really love that show. Um, other than that, I really am most excited about the Lost Boys series coming to the CW. Um, Tyler Posey from Teen Wolf is going to be in the Lost Boys. And <clears throat> Catherine Hardwick. I think that's how you say your name. Um, the director of Twilight, yes, I know a lot of people have reservations about that, but that's not the only film that she's directed. Um, and she directed it just fine. It's just the screenplay that was different from the book, which is not her fault, but she directed it fine. Um, so you have a big movie director and... A big TV star starring in The Lost Boys. So I'm really, 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 really excited about that. <clears throat> so, and they have changed a little bit about that, but I'm excited. I think that has so much potential. I'm most excited about that. Um, in the future, Roswell, New Mexico, because I really love that show. Not like I haven't already mentioned it. Um, so I hope that it gets renewed. I have faith that it gets renewed. Um, and I'm really, really excited about to see, you know, about seeing what they're going to do with the 100 season six, because so much has changed and there's so much potential there, um, with where they left off last. So I'm most excited about, I, I'm very excited about that too. Um, but if you ha if you didn't know about the CW network before, you should check it out. It has so much um, so much variety, so ev something for everybody. Um, spread the word. Tell your friends about it. Uh, download the app. It's free. Watch new episodes. Watch the shows that they have on Netflix. They're amazing. It, they are really, really excellent at telling very thorough, thought-out stories and being committed to their fans. Um, yeah. I mean, I have so much faith in the CW and love the CW so much that that was my number one place where I wanted Lucifer after it was canceled from Fox, but... It was either the CW or Netflix that I really wanted to pick up Lucifer. Netflix got it, which is fine by me. Um, but um, either network could have done amazing with it. Um, so, but yeah, anyway. Um, if you like this video, if you love the CW and it shows... Comment below, um, subscribe, I'll reply to your comments, or as too many as possible. Um, there's so much that we can talk about, about the CW, because it's amazing. 
so I can go on and on and on. That's why this video is twenty, at least twenty minutes long. So, um, yeah, check it out and like, subscribe, comment, and until next time, guys, have a great night.